gonna mix up our worm blend here. Here are the three cups of plastic. Yeah, so there's what we got. Oh my gosh. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. I'm Chris Jones, and uh, thank you so much for being here today, taking time out of your day to watch the world's worst fishing. Um, so, um, before we get started, hit the subscribe button and notification bell. That way you don't miss any uploads, and uh, we're really trying to grow the channel, and um, your support definitely helps keep the channel going. So, um, with introduction out of the way, today we're going to be... I'm doing something that I've yet to do. Um, a common misconception is that I know how to do everything. Uh, no. So today is, is going to be a brand new challenge for me. I have never tried to swirl three colors in an injection mold. I've probably done it um, in hand pouring. And I've definitely done done the trick b before where you pour three different colors into a single injector, just one injector, and then technically you're swirling three colors. But this, I want to try the real spiral swirl, milking the cow with three colors. However, I do not have three hands. I only have two. So we're gonna have to figure something out. Um, you know, there's a couple guys that have really mastered swirling three colors with the triple injection. Um, I've never tried. I've not practiced at all for this video. So that's what we're doing today. We are going to attempt a triple color, real spiral swirl with the triple injector. And uh, we're going to start that right now. Uh oh, new plastic day. Let's see what we got. Oh, geez. You know what? They left out my instructions. I guess they figure I know what I'm doing, which is questionable. Normally, uh, whenever you get a package of dental on plastic, there will be a sheet with very detailed instructions, which I think is an awesome thing. They really, really care about their customers and want them to have the most success that they possibly can. All right, I'm gonna mix up our worm blend here. Just give it a nice, thorough hand mixing. A lot of people like to also use a paint stirrer on a variable speed drill. Uh, if you do it that way, just keep the speed relatively low. You don't want to slosh it as fast as you can uh, because you will agitate the plastic and introduce some unwanted bubbles. But just a nice good stirring is all we need. And uh, we are ready for battle here. All right, so all three cups of our worm blend going in the microwave. Oh, that was wrong, I meant to hit seven. All right, so we'll start with seven minutes there, and in the meantime, I'm gonna figure out what color we're gonna make. Okay, we're gonna try the infamous wave worm sweet potato pie, which you can see is a nice red, yellow, and black triple color swirl. Um, they really should have called that uh, coral snake. I mean, what the heck, people? So, I think we're gonna try that, and if that works out well, which it totally might not, then we'll probably try another color scheme and just see what we can do. But I have the triple block here, the triple injector, and because I'm milking the cow and I don't want all three colors to, uh, to go simultaneously, I have to remove this bar um, because I want to be able to push each injector independently. So basically, you just unscrew uh, these little caps here. Yeah, these things are machined so well, it's ridiculous. All right. And you just slide the bar off. Now I can move these independently of one another. Okay, so here are the three cups of plastic. And I want to do black, red, orange, yellow because I'm thinking that's how I'm gonna pulse the injector, is right, left, right, right, left, right, right, left, right. Um, and the order of the color that I need to get goes to goes black, red, yellow, black, red, yellow. So that's the thinking in my mind, at least. Uh, whether or not it'll work out, who knows. 
but we're gonna add some black. And these all need to be extremely thick colors. That way we get very distinct contrast between the two and we'll be able to see the swirl patterns better. If these were all very transparent see-through colors, they would look more blended together rather than swirled. You just, you wouldn't see the details that you need to see. So, you know, even that black needs to be thickened up and black is always the dominant color. So we're gonna stir that in a little bit more. Yeah, that's looking real good. All right, and we're gonna leave that be. Now, because the dead on colors are so highly concentrated, it's easy to get a really opaque, thick result. So we're just gonna go mostly dead on colors here. Yeah, you can see that was a lot of yellow. Oh, sorry, out of focus, my bad, my bad. Hopefully that was not out of focus for long. <clears throat> oh yeah. Nice kind of orangey school bus yellow. It's actually more orange in person than it looks on my uh, screen here. So that is already super opaque. You can't really see, I mean, you, you can't even see through that thin layer on the knife. Same, well, actually, yeah, that black you can see is actually more see-through than the yellow. <laughs> so we're gonna add a little bit more. You know, again, we want high concentrated colors here, the exact opposite of like hand pouring a swim bait, but we also want it to sort of be even between the three. So lots of opaque colors, but even opaqueness. So we're gonna kind of blend an orange and a red. Oops, both dead on colors here. There's the red. Because it's not really an orange and it's not 100% a red either, um, at least from pictures that, that I can tell. Yeah, nice bright fire engine looking red there. So now we want to see how these colors interact with each other and to see if any are overpowering the other. And the way I accomplish that is I literally just drip some out on my table. So there's my red, there's my yellow, and here's my black, okay? Now I just kinda wanna mix them together a little bit. And then we wanna take a closer look, okay? So we can see there's actually good contrast. Everywhere there's red, it looks red. Everywhere there's yellow, it looks yellow. Even in the black right there in that section, the yellow actually shows up really well. So um, those are actually looking really good. I don't really see one color just too weak that it doesn't show up and I don't see one color that's so powerful that it's just completely overpowering the other ones. Um, so we can probably, yeah, I was hoping we could go ahead and peel this up. Yeah, okay. Yeah, here we go. Oops. So that is kind of how the colors are playing with, with each other. Okay, camera is super far back because I wanna to try to get as much of the actual pulsing motion in as possible. Um, yeah, here goes nothing.
So I think I ran out of plastic on that last one. So there's what the injector looks like. And uh, man, I really like the colors. Um, but boy, I just, I did not feel like I was getting consistent pushes on all three colors. Um, it is so much easier in the dual injector. So we're gonna clean all this stuff out. Um, I know that a lot of people like to see what the uh, <clears throat> blending block looks like on the inside. So don't wanna forget this little uh, part here. Mm. Yeah, so there's what we got. Looking good, looking good. We'll save that, of course, because they're pretty neat. Like that right there is almost like a, a three-piece worm uh, bait in and of itself. Okay, I'm not really sure that these are worthy of a drum roll, but we'll try it anyway. Let's see if we got anything like a swirl. Well, kind of. Okay. There's definitely three colors in there, but as you can <laughs> as you can see, I got a very, very um, you know, inconsistent swirl. It it looks beautiful. Um, but you know, if if I'm looking at it, it's just not quite there. It looks really good from some angles and then not so good from other angles. So I, I definitely need to tighten my pulses, I think. Um, still really good though, and if you saw a picture of those, you would know that that is the whole wave worm sweet potato pie vibe. It's just not, it's just not a super even uh, swirl, not yet anyhow. These look a little better, I think. Yeah, yeah, a, a little better. I think those got all three colors in them a little bit better. But again, still not a perfect swirl. And, and really, you're never gonna get like a perfect swirl. There are a few guys who have gotten close, much closer than this. But I have to say, that's actually not, that's better than I thought it was gonna look based on just how it felt. I just, I could just tell not every injector was, you know, going perfectly evenly. So definitely lots to improve on. And I mean a lot to improve on, but I, I like the colors. Um, I definitely think I got the colors right. If I can, yeah, see that one right there didn't turn out. So it's like, if I can get them to swirl pretty, I actually like my colors. There's not one that's too weak or overpowering. You know, it's, it's a nice harmony uh, between each, each color. Okay, did round two work out a little bit better? Let's find out. Ooh. I definitely got a little bit more swirl action going, it looks like. I, I pulsed things a little bit faster and tighter, I guess, if that makes sense. So, it looks to me like there's still more like just blending necessarily than 100% swirling. Yeah, you can see that, that there's just a little bit more blending going. But I, I like it. I like it better than the first round. Um, they just, they look a little bit more natural. I don't think it's a better swirl than the first round, <laughs> unfortunately. So let's see. See how mold number two went. And these molds are actually configured differently. Um, if you look at this mold, the gates are different than this mold that really doesn't have much of a gate. So I don't know if that really affects things. These look about the same. 
I really like them though. Like, don't don't get me wrong. If somebody handed me a pack of these, I would be like, this is money. But it's, you know, it's still not that perfect swirl that I want. And I may not get it today, you know. I This is my first time doing it. Really, I really like what it did right in here. Yeah, I really like that a lot. I wish it looked like that pretty much the whole bait. All right. Yeah, well that top one did really well. It just seems to have a really nice swirl about it. So let's take those out. We'll get them there. Flip them over. There's always like one side that, that's better than the other side. So yeah, really, really good swirling right up there at the front. So I don't know, like, what do y'all think? Do these pass as triple swirls? So I'm looking at my examples here. This is from round one. And this is from round two. And round two had a little bit more blending of the colors. And my temperatures were hotter on round two. Um, the the kind of mindset was they'll flow through the blending block a little bit better. But whenever you're laminating, swirling really hot colors, because they don't cool as fast, they'll mix together more. So you can see there's a little bit more defined lines, right, in the colors. And that's because the colors were injected at a... <coughs> um, at a colder temperature. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna go back to doing it at a colder temperature, probably about 330-ish, but try to pulse it faster and see if I can get a little bit better result. Well, I am really happy with round three. And that right there is, is pretty jam up. I mean, yeah. So I might try one more thing while we're all still here, but um, one thing I've definitely learned today is that swirling three colors is very difficult. Um, definitely requires much more practice, I would say, than, than, doing, than milking the cow with the dual injector. However, you know, even your first time, you can get some wicked awesome results. So I might fire up a few more colors and see what I can get. Um, but that right there is actually really not bad, guys. Okay, here's a goofy one. Dead on Neo Blue, dead on Char Lime dead on purple rain and uh, they're actually um, actually look really cool together I don't I don't know what this color is it was just three random colors and let's see how they swirl okay there's the uh, blending block from that looking pretty cool oh my gosh look at this isn't that cool Wow yeah, I don't really know what you call this, but uh, that is absolutely electric. Let's, uh, let's look at this mold now. Or yeah, we'll open it this way. Oh, oh. oh no, one didn't fill. No. This will be kind of cool to show you guys what one of these looks like on the inside. Just look at all just the random crap going on in there. <laughs> Oh my gosh though, but these are so cool. Guys, I have had a blast doing this today. And then here's three from the first mold. <laughs> is that not fun or what? Or is that fun or what? Jeez. I mean, that is just a fiesta of colors. That's, that's what I'm gonna call this, fiesta. Okay, there is everything. We have our fiestas and our sweet potato pies. The molds today were the Bass Tackle five inch BT stick. Um, I've had that stickworm mold for a long time and um, it's, it's just a great all around five inch uh, stickworm mold. Now there are some that have a little bit more like pronounced ridges. These ridges are real faint. Um, so if you're looking for something that looks more like say like a Yamamoto, this probably isn't the mold for you. The Yamamoto ridges are much more pronounced, um, but there's Plenty of mold manufacturers making awesome stickworm molds. Obviously, the core shot stickworm from Angling AI is just king as far as creation. Um, but if you're just looking for just a good basic mold that uh, is not expensive, um, that's why I chose that one right there. So let's take a closer look. Man, I hope y'all have enjoyed. 
All right, we are down at the water, and here's our package of baits. So we're just gonna uh, get one out real fast and rig it up. I guess we'll do we'll do one of these uh, crazy colorful ones, and we're just gonna do a simple Texas rig on it. Okay. Nothing special. I have these uh, scented with cherry scent oil. One of my personal favorites. I don't know if the fish love it, but I do. And in my book, that's all that matters. All right, everybody. We're going to give it a few throws and see if we can get some action. Well, we're hung up in the tree. All right, everybody, we are back in the truck. My 35 little minute window of fishing has expired. Uh, that's about all I get these days, unfortunately. Um, however, I did meet two gentlemen uh, down here at the lake who uh, I guess live right here in this neighborhood. Uh, it's a neighborhood called Killarn Lakes, which is sort of kind of where I grew up. Um, and uh, they actually caught a fish on a rattle trap, so there are bass in here. I wound up giving them about half of these, so um, they're going to be tossing them around here for the next few weeks, and hopefully uh, I'll get a fish catch picture on these exact baits sent to my DMs on Instagram. So hopefully, uh, hopefully in the sometime near future, I'll be able to uh, at least... Uh, push out some sort of photo evidence that these baits caught a bass because they totally will um, so Anyway, apparently I've got to get get uh, dinner on the way home. So back to normal life, but uh, what an awesome uh, Just take technique, you know, I I'm not I wouldn't say like I'm great at it yet uh, Definitely need more practice on this triple injector. I want to experiment a little more with with my pulsing you know i was kind of doing like a triplet like right left right right left right right sort of like in drumming so i want to um play with the way that i'm pulsing it a little bit and see if i can get some different and better results um but please like and subscribe and leave me lots of comments down below let me know what you thought of today's video and of course as always which color was your best I kind of like the uh, crazy uh, bright colorful ones more than the sweet potato pie. Uh, that's just my personal opinion. Um, but in any event, we're going to sign this one off. Thank you guys so much for being here today, and we'll catch you next time.